it took us a long time, but Streams 040 is now finally out and it's available for you to use. It's a big release with over 150 PRs from over 25 contributors. This release supports Kubernetes 1.23 and newer, and the last tested version of Kubernetes was 1.29.2. Please keep in mind that Kubernetes 1.21 and 1.22 are not supported anymore in this release. Streams 040 also adds support for Kafka 3.7 and removes support for Kafka 3.5. That means that the supported Kafka versions are 3.7.0, 3.6.1 and 3.6.0. Most of the work in this release went to improving the craft mode. The UseCraft feature gate moves to beta, and that means that it's now enabled by default. So, if you want to use Zookeeper-less Kafka clusters, you do not have to enable it anymore. Also, the Zookeeper-related fields in the Kafka custom resource are not required anymore, and you don't have to specify them when using Craft. We also improved the migration from dedicated controller nodes to mixed nodes. There are still some limitations, both in Apache Kafka as well as in Streamzy, but in most cases, they are not production critical. They include, for example, scaling of the controller nodes or support for JBot storage. Streamzy 040 also adds support for migration of the existing Zookeeper-based Kafka clusters to Craft. The migration requires you to use at least Kafka 3.7, and it consists of a multi-stage process driven through annotations. For more details, please check the documentation and we will also publish a blog post about this soon. Apart from the various craft improvements, Streams 040 also adds support for tiered storage. It adds support for configuring the tiered storage plugins in the Kafka brokers, but currently, no tiered storage plugins are shipped directly as part of Streamzy, and you have to add your own plugins. Please keep in mind that tiered storage is currently an early access feature in Apache Kafka. We have also improved the scale down prevention so that it doesn't block the cluster reconciliation anymore. We updated HTTP bridge and the OAuth library to new versions. And we have implemented many additional improvements, bug fixes, and dependency updates. And that's it. These were the main new features in this release. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to star us on GitHub, follow us on LinkedIn or Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.